Nos fydd da pawb a croes y mawr i ysgol Llanbathyn. Dewi o'n y dwi ac mae'n enrhydedd mawr i ddweud fod wedi'n bennaeth yma yn ysgol Llanbathyn. Good evening everybody and welcome to our virtual open evening. I'm Dewi Owen and it's my absolute honour to say that I'm the head teacher here at Ysgol Llanbathyn through school. On the screen now you should be able to see our, our schedule for the evening. So you're having introductions and a welcome from myself at the moment. We'll then have some input from members of the panel. We have a promotional video for you to have a look at, which shows you the day-to-day uh, -day life in, in Llanbathyn. We've got some time for questions and comments at the end, so plenty of time for you to ask, ask questions and, and make any comments that you would like to. And then the meeting will end in approximately 45 minutes, so we won't keep you too long tonight. On the panel this evening, you have got myself as head teacher. You've got Mr. Thea Thomas, who's our deputy head teacher, and also Mr. Rob Rudge, who is our progress manager for years six and years seven. So tonight is your introduction to our school. And I know that one of the main questions to answer is who are we and what is the school about? So you can see on the screen there that our new school is based on our five founding principles. So we are a forward thinking, innovative and inclusive centre for lifelong learning. We're a new school with quality assurance and school improvement at its core. We're always trying to do better, and always trying to get better at what we do. We're a new school with a new curriculum and the new curriculum for Wales will begin with year sevens with you uh, starting September 2022. And we're a new school with commitments to promoting and developing the Welsh medium provision. Uh, the Welsh language is very, very important to us here in Oscar and you'll be joining a bilingual school. So Welsh will be heard regularly and, and, uh, and you'll be using Welsh regularly around the school. But most importantly to me is that we are a happy school with Tayley at its heart and Tayley is the Welsh for family. So tonight is a really important evening for you and for your child. So this is the evening when you'll make important choices about your child's future. So it's understandable if you feel a bit anxious or apprehensive, especially if your child is the first one of the family to move on to the high school. If you make the choice to send your school to Oscar Llanbathyn, you'll be entrusting us with the most precious thing in your life, which is your child. So we know that you will have lots of questions. You'll want to know, will your child be happy here? Will they be supported and nurtured? Will they make friends? Will they like their teachers? Will their individual talents be recognised? And you want to know if they will reach their full potential here. And you want to know if the education they receive at Uskol Llanbathyn will be of the very highest possible standard. Well, tonight's live event and the accompanying web page is geared around helping you to find out the answers to all of those questions. But before we move on, I'd like to try to at least start to answer two of the most important questions that you will that you'll probably have. And these are the two questions that I asked when I'm parents sending my children to secondary school. So will my child be happy at a school Llanbathyn? And will they receive an excellent education? Now, in order for a child to be happy at school, and you can see some wonderful, happy, smiling children there on screen, they need to feel safe and secure and they need to see, feel a sense of belonging. I've worked in a number of schools, each one of them unique and special in their own way. But what is really special about this school is the sense of family or Tayley. Now I felt this warm, supportive family atmosphere when I came to look around the school before even applying for the post of head teacher. And it's one of the reasons that really attracted me to Llanbathlin way back in 2017 when I started here as head teacher. There is a strong sense of Tayley or family here because everyone who works here from the teaching staff to the caretaking staff, the canteen staff and the governors think like a family. They care passionately about the children that attend here. They celebrate their unique differences. They look out for them. They have their backs and they have their best interests at heart. And this is the foundation of a happy school and happy children. And when we provide a happy, safe and supportive, supportive environment for children, we provide the best possible environment in which they can learn and succeed. Now that brings me on to the second, question, which was if I choose to send my ch child here, will they receive an excellent education? Now, since becoming head, uh, I've implemented a very sharp focus on teaching and learning. 
All staff are working towards the, the same extremely high expectations that all lessons taught in this school are of an excellent standard. That is my expectation. Now put simply, that means that there's an expectation that every single lesson is well planned, that it's engaging, that is differentiated to make sure that children of all abilities can learn and succeed and that teachers make regular and rigorous assessments of pupils' work. I also operate an open door policy, which means that all staff are encouraged to teach with their classroom doors open and that my office door is always open to children, to parents and to staff. Now, none of this is rocket science. It's, it's just good teaching and it's common sense but it's my job to oversee the teaching that goes on in this school and make sure that we are all constantly striving towards excellence in the classroom in order for your child to receive the best possible education. Now, finally, um, you'll know there's been a lot of changes for the school over the past few years. Uh, we've become a through school. We now have children from the age of four all the way up to 18. And I just want to reassure you that obviously COVID depending, that we are now entering into a period of stability and recovery from the pandemic. Now that doesn't mean there won't be any further changes because change is vitally important if we want to move forward. And one of the big changes that we're pushing for is to have a new school build and have a new community campus in Llanbathlin. Now, as I've said, I've worked in a number of schools, uh, but I'm not one to move around a huge amount. Um, I've been in Llanbathlin for five years now. Previous to that, I taught and I was deputy head in Newtown High School. I was there for 12 years and I started my teaching career way back in the late 1990s up in Manchester. But my roots are in Llanbathlin. My great grandmother was actually born at the Dolid Workhouse, which is just down the road from the school. I live locally uh, with my wife and my three children, so I'm very much invested in the local area and making sure that every child who attends us called Llanbathlin receives the very best education that the world can offer. So I'll now hand over to Mr. Thea Thomas and Mr. Rob Rudge, who will introduce themselves and the different areas of responsibility. Thank you for listening to me so carefully. and I'll see you later on in the question section. Not with that, Thea Thomas, my name is Thea Thomas and I am the Deputy Head Teacher of the school who has responsibility for the curriculum and timetable. It is my role to ensure that the curriculum that is being delivered is suitable for all, that meets the needs of all our pupils. In so than Aspradoli Discoblion or Covenod Salvain Evloid in Tyrardig, a curriculum that inspires pupils from foundation phase to year 13. Now I consider myself very lucky that I've been able to teach at Llanbathlin as a high school and now through school for over 24 years. Um, in fact, pupils who are watching tonight, I might have even taught uh, your mum and dad. Now, I travelled up from South Wales way back in um, 1997 to be a, a PE teacher at Llan And the plan was to re return home to live after I'd had a few years of experience under my belt. But as you can see, I'm still here. Do we dal ama? A do we dal ama? Okay, I'm still here because of one reason, and that is because a Scotland Vulcan is a fantastic school full of amazing pupils and staff. Now, I know I might be a little biased, but I genuinely believe it, and I am fortunate enough to have both my children in the school. Ian am in Pedwar, I am in now, one in year four and one in year nine. They also agree, agree with me that Ascot and Vathlin is an amazing school. They have great friends. They really enjoy the lessons with excellent teachers and they are happy. I know you can't join us in person, but hopefully you will be able to get a feeling of what it's like after watching tonight. I will now hand over to Mr. Rudge, Riolor Caned Blwyddyn Chwecha Saith, your six and seven progress leader. Diolch so, Mr. Roger Dewey, Riolo Cunneth Blue and Chwech Saith. Nos wait da. Good evening. I too like to extend a warm welcome to you all. Croesoy Yaskol Than Vathlin. I would like to say a little bit about my role as a school in the school as progress manager too. Apart from overseeing the pastoral and academic work of all our year seven pupils, my work involves ensuring a smooth transition phase for pupils from primary schools to our school. Our transition work has been recognised by the World Heritage Schools Initiative and we've been awarded 
the prestigious Crossface Project Award for our work. And that's not a pen of most worth of, we went in well the Kiskolion Cunner of Lay on a lane. A Havarva and Niver of Bobal Evang, see if I'm not getting any hino. And that's not a tum or a half, but when well there is Scolion Cunner of Eto, he gave Varva the discovery on breathing quick. On those visits, I've had the opportunity to talk with pupils about the changes they will experience by moving to secondary school and address any issues they may have. We meet with the head teachers and year six teachers to ensure there is a smooth transition and all our pupils' needs are met. We have planned for two transition days in the summer term so that year six pupils meet the wider school community, meet new friends, the staff, and also sample lessons and school life at Llanfordlin. Transition activities are designed to encourage pupils to feel happy and confident in our community. And these activities include six form led group activities, taster lessons, sporting activities, and time to get to know their form teachers, new pupils, and their form group. Rhoda Mnuskol, Hapa Sakavethgal, Thema Pob Disigbal, and Kali Wedferogi Vel Inagolin. Heno Kavle, Yemwelda Lane, Aradrana Yaraskol. Before starting your virtual journey with us, I would like you to view the video, which helps show the working life of our school. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our virtual open evening. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and that it gives you a taste of what a wonderful school a Scotland is. Mi fydd dwy fil a dau ddeg dau yn flwyddyn y byddwch chi'n eu chofio am byth. Dyma'r flwyddyn pan fyddwch chi'n gadael addysg gynradd a dechrau ar eich addysg uwchradd yn ysgol pob oed Llanfyllin. Dyma ddechrau antur fawr a heno ydy'r cam gyntaf. Felly, eseddwch yn ôl am ychydig ofunedau y gadewch chi'n i roi cyfluniad beir i chi un ysgol newydd. As from September next year, you'll be part of a bilingual school, so what expectations do you have? Here, at Llanfyllin, we always put the needs of the learner first. We have a strong pastoral and academic system. When you start here, you'll be part of a tutor group who you will meet with as well as your tutor every day. Here, you'll be able to discuss issues that you may not always have the chance to in your other lessons. In tutor, you'll also have assemblies on a whole variety of themes with the rest of your year group. The most recent Eston report on our secondary phase said, the pastoral care in the school is outstanding. And we are a nurturing and inclusive caring community. Pan gynheiddwch chi'r ysgol fe byddwch chi'n treulio amser gyda eich tiwtor ac yna fe byddwch chi'n cael chwech gwers o bywb deg munud. Bydd rhain yn cael eu trefnu fel, fel bod chi'n cael egwyl bore a amser cinio sy'n rhoi cyfle i chi fynd i'r toilet, cael rhyw beth i fyta ac i gymdeithasu gyda eich ffrindiau. Ym mhob gwers, mae'r athrawon yn gosod nodau clir a rydyn ni'n disgwyl i disgyblion gymryd rhan gweithredol yn ein dysgu i hunan. Fe byddwch chi'n cael llawer o gyfleoedd yn ystod y gwersi ac yn eich cartrefi i wella eich gwaith yn barhaus ar sail yr adborth a gewch chi oddi wrth eich athrawon. Mae hyn yn golygu i gallwch chi fod o gorau a gallwch chi fod a chyflawni eich potensial ar ddiwedd pob blwyddyn. Rydyn ni hefyd yn ystyried ar ddulliau dysgu gwahanol ac yn teilwr ar gwersi i weddu eich anhenion unigol chi drwy wahaniaethu a dulliau gwahanol o fynd ati. Throughout the recent lockdown, we successfully enabled education online via Microsoft Teams. Every class in the school has an online team, so you're able to keep up with your learning whether you are physically in school or not. We are very proud of the range of subjects we can offer pupils at Key Stage 3, 4 and 5. In Year 7, your learning will be divided into areas of learning and experience. These are Communication Humanities Mathematics Science and Technology Expressive Arts and Health and Well-Being Spiritual and moral aspects of the pupils' experience are well developed through the Well-Being programme. The new curriculum for Wales is being introduced in a phased way to prepare the school for the official launch in September 2023. And as new Year 7 pupils, you will benefit greatly from this. Mae ABF yn rhan o'ch amserlen wythnosol a fe byddwch chi'n cael gwahanol siaradwyr i siaradwyr i chi am faterion amrywio iawn fel diogelwch ar y rhyngrwyd. 
Mae hybyd datblygiad moesol, cymdeithasol a ddiwylliannol disgyblion yn faes rydyn ni'n ymbalchion fawr ynddo. Mrs Rhiannon Molyneux is our Additional Learning Needs Coordinator. She manages a team of very experienced learning support assistants who cover a whole range of needs in order for your child to overcome any barriers they may have. We strongly believe at Llanfallin that every single child is important and everyone will need different kinds of support in order to achieve their potential. In ardal rydyn ni'n arbennig o falch ohono ydy'r canolfan deulu. Sefydlwyd y canolfan yn mis Medi 2020 ac mae'n ardal llwyddiannus iawn sy'n cynnig cefnogaeth bigeiliol. Mae'n unigryw i William Wellin a fe fydd yn destun cenbigen mewn llawer o ysgolion eraill. Gallwch ddod o hyd i'r ganolfan deulu o fewn yr adran anghenu am dysgu a chynegol. Mrs Fiona Buckley sy'n cydlynu'r gwasanaeth. Mae profiad helaeth gan Fiona o weithio gyda phobl ifanc ac mae hi'n adolygu a diweddaru dysgu ei hun yn barhaus er mwyn gallu deillio a heriau sy'n wynebu ni heddiw. Fel iechyd meddwl a phwysau oedd wrth y cyfryngau cymdeithasol. Mae Fiona ar gael yn ystod amser egwyl a chamsecinio i gynnig cyngor, cefnogaeth a chyfarwyddydd ar gyfer bob plentyn yn yr ysgol. Gall fi erni gysylltu a Fiona yn uniongyrchol hefyd am gyngor dros y ffôn neu drwy e-bost. Fiona also coordinates the work of outside agencies who may be working with our pupils. If pupils feel unwell during the school day, they can report to the school reception where there will be staff on hand to help and support. Some pupils may have short or long-term medical needs and they'll be supported by their own healthcare plan. Medication can be kept securely and a quiet place is available for time out or administering of medication if necessary. Pupil guidance and mentoring is a real strength of the school. Your teachers will input data about you regularly throughout the year and directors of learning and progress managers will review this in relation to your MEGs or minimum expected grades. If necessary, intervention can be put in place so you do not underachieve. Pupil mentoring can happen in registration or at some stage throughout the day and depending on the nature of the intervention, it could be with a learning support assistant, teacher or a sixth form peer mentor. Yn Llanfyllin, rydyn ni'n ymbalchio ein bod yn annog y cynymestyn i'n disgyblion mwy apol a thlentog. Mae llawer o'n disgyblion yn fwy apol a thlentog na'i llai mewn un maes neu nifer. Gallwch fod yn dawel eich meddwl bod gwahaniaethu'n digwydd mewn gwersi a gweithgareddau allgyrsiol, lle bod angen fel cwmni theatr, cymdeithas eco, llais y teulu ac amrywiaeth y glybiau chwaraeon a'r clwb gwyddoniaeth, lle mae disgyblion yn cael y cyfle i weithio tu hwnt i'r cwricwlwm. One of the core aims of the school is to make sure students leave us with excellent examination results. This year was obviously unusual due to the coronavirus, with no pupils being able to sit their final examinations. However, pupils are able to reach their full potential through being awarded their centre-determined grades. This allowed over 60 Year 12 pupils to access our sixth form to study A-levels and other Level 3 qualifications in our new Canolfan Chweched. Mae ein chweched osberth yn panhau diedd hon i lwyddion academaidd. Gyda 129 o ddisgyblion, mae ein chweched osberth yn un o'r rhai mwyaf ym hylwys. Wedi ei leoli yn y ganolfan chweched ac mae'r ysgol yn parhau i gyflawni canlyniadau sy'n greu'r argraff. Mae bron pob un o ddisgyblion yn cyflawni canlyniadau sydd ei angen ar nhw nhw i fynd i'm lain i prifysgol dewis cyntaf, gyda nifer yn mynd i'w dewis o grŵp rysyl. Cyflawni'r canlyniadau hyn oherwydd y sylfaenu cadarn sydd wedi gosod y mlynyddoedd 7, 8 a 9 yng nghyfnod allweddol 3. Lle yn hanesyddol mae canlyniadau ni cryn dipyn yn uwch na phwys a Chymru. Mae adrodd ar gynnydd disgyblion i chi yr rhieni yn rhan hanfodol o unrhyw flwyddyn ysgol. Gallwch ddisgwyl cael dau adroddiad interim yn ystod y flwyddyn ac adroddiad ysgrifenedig llawn unwaith y flwyddyn. Bydd hyn yn cynnwys yr holl bethau positif yn hyd â'ch plentyn a'i gynnydd, ond hefyd adran ar sut y gallwch eich plentyn wella neu berhau i wella. Mae fydd yna hefyd noson rhieni a gynhelu'r fel arfer o gwmpas mis tachwedd. Mae hyn yn rhoi cyfle i chi gyfarfod eich athrawon eich plentyn yn cymharol gynnar yn y flwyddyn, ond hefyd yn rhoi cyfle i ddyn nhw fod wedi sethlon yn yr ysgol. Allan Fathlin, we pride ourselves on the range of extracurricular activities we offer. As mentioned previously, the PE department run a sports club every lunchtime, which includes football, rugby, hockey, athletics, 
and many more sports. We're also very fortunate to have a climbing wall and our own mountain bike track. Our Power School Development Officer will make sure you have opportunities to experience new sports and activities throughout the school term. We have a really successful annual sports day where you have the chance to represent your team in our fantastic grounds. My gen ni atran drama fi wiog iawn na chlwb drama poblogaidd. Mae nhw wedi cyflwyno niwer o gynhyrchiadau ffantastig dros y blynyddoedd diwethaf gan gynnwys sy'n cynhyrchiad anghygol cofiwch fi. O ran cerddoriaeth, mae gen ni wersi offerynol a chan unigol ac mae yna'r groeso i'ch eventeisio arna nhw. Mae gen ni hefyd gôr ysgol sy'n canu mewn digwyddiadau yn yr ysgol ac yn y gymuned leol a maen nhw bob amser yn edrych fel bod nhw'n mwynhau hunan. Mae gen ni eisteddfod ysgol bob blwyddyn y fydd pawb yn cael ei rannu i tai tanant efyrnu y cain. Y fyddwch chi'n cynrychioli eich grŵp, tiwtor a eich tŷ ac yn cael cyfle i gymryd rhan mewn llawer y gystadlaethau gwahanol fewn cael ni a damsio dysgol. In ordinary times we run a number of extracurricular trips. These include an annual art trip to London. The art and photography team make use of the natural beauty around us and have visited Bodvach to catch an autumn at its finest. Pupils have also attended a series of workshops at the Oriel Art Gallery in Newtown. There is a biannual trip to America for six formers and a yearly European ski trip. My trip to block the estate of Trang Watol and Goshen in the north of the Pier de Scuplan in Gid. I am the Scuplan and Calprovi at Athlete Down Sacheri for a trial speed. My mother will be answered and not all or will and sound bridge with death. I get that question with what I get at the story of the Wilhelm I can borrow a bit. We hope to resume these trips as soon as we possibly can. We apologise you are not able to visit the school in person this year. We will be hosting a series of webinars where you'll be able to ask questions. We also encourage you to contact the school if you would like to speak to us regarding any personal questions or queries that you might have. Dwi'n siŵr y gwnewch chi gytuno ein bod yn ysgol ddwyieithog dros awgar a chynnas sy'n edrysau bob amser ar agor i fod yn rhan ganolog o'r gymuned. Rydyn ni'n annog ymddygiad ar ddechog gyda ysbryd cymunedol cryf a thrawon gyfalgar ac yn pwysicach na dim plan tapus sydd ar cyfleoedd i gyflawni y potensiol o fewn a thu hwnt i'r dosbarth. Finally, we are incredibly pleased to announce that as part of the transformation of education in Powys, our Scotland and Vathlin are in line to have a new school building. This hopefully means that pupils joining us in 2022 will be involved in helping us design the new community campus. What an amazing project to be involved in. We look forward to hearing all your ideas for our brand new state-of-the-art school. It is lovely to speak to you all and we very much look forward to seeing you next September. Thank you so much for listening. Diolch fawr iawn am random o'r astud. Diolch fawr iawn am grando. Thank you very much for listening and I hope you enjoyed the video there. Um, it's some fantastic footage. We live in a beautiful, beautiful place and our school site is nestled into the Welsh Hills. It's beautiful. Um, if you wanted to get in touch with us after this evening, you'll have your chance in a second to, to ask us questions and, and make any comments. Our email addresses are up on the screen there for you. Uh, alternative, phone, phone the school uh, and, uh, and ask to speak to one of us. We'll be happy to answer all of your questions. So what we will do now is we'll move on to the question section of the evening. Um, Mr. Thea Thomas will be uh, taking your questions and publishing them and myself and Mr. Rudge uh, will be available and Mr Thomas to answer those questions. So over to you for your questions. OK, let's have a look to see if there are any uh, any questions in the chat for us. Um, a question has come straight through, so somebody is is very, very hot on the keyboard. So the first question that we have this evening and that question is, uh, will you be running any taster days? So what I'll do is I'll ask one of the members of the panel to take that question. So will you be running any taster days? Uh, Mr. Rudge, uh, Mr. Rob Rudge, would you like to take that question for us, please? Yeah, Doc, Mr. Owen. Um, yeah, hopefully with this year we're looking to plan for two transition days, Daidun and Pontia, um, towards the end or sorry, start of July. Um, Ray Gwaith got here. There's some of the activities we're looking at is um, Amsa got a tutor, sometime, spending time getting to know their uh, form, form pupils. 
we're going to do some great career there, some lessons, going to quick a dos bath with a sixth form, um, and then looking great career tour, going to add on a matter of carf, have it, I have it, and also we're looking uh, for following year seven uh, timetable as well. So year six will have a whole day full of lessons as well. Dioch, Rob, Dioch, Mr. Raj, I'm Atavana. Thank you for answering that question. Um, I'll move straight on to the next question. So um, my child is coming from one of the cluster schools. Uh, will they be at a disadvantage because they were not in the primary phase at Oskol Llanbollin? Um, well, my answer to that is no, not, not at all. There won't be any disadvantage. We work very, very closely with all of our, our cluster primary schools, uh, as well as the, our own primary phase. Um, but Mrs Vaughan, who is with us this evening, Mrs Vaughan is our assistant head teacher, who is in charge of the primary phase. Mrs Vaughan, would you like to add anything to that? Because I know you work very, very closely with the primary clusters. Now, of course, we have a close partnership with Llanfallin Cluster Schools. Mae gen i barthnesiaeth agos iawn. Um, mae llawer o ddisgyblu am blwyddyn saith, so many pupils who do start in Year 7, their biggest concern is getting lost on campus. However, as current Ysgol Llanfallin Year 6 pupils will be aware of some areas around the Cyfnod Uchrad, the secondary phase, they will be there to support and guide others, and they can ask a few new friends to help them for that support, as well as staff within the school. I mean, with the help of Nuiam Gartrevi and Ben Dance. Diolch. Diolch o galon. Sean Ed, thank you, Mrs Vaughan, for answering that question. <laughs> um, if, you, if you feel we haven't answered you, your questions completely, please feel free to, to, to publish some others up there. We will, we will come back to them. Um, but thank you, Mrs Vaughan, for that one. OK, on to the next question. Uh, so my child is in the Welsh stream at primary school. So we are not sure if we want this to continue in the secondary school. Uh, will this affect Welsh lessons? Um, all of my children have gone through the Welsh streams uh, at their schools and it's, it's given them a huge, huge advantage. But I'm actually going to hand back to uh, to Mrs Vaughan, if you're ready, Sean Ed, for a second question, um, because uh, Sean Ed is in charge of our Charter Iaith and is in charge, in charge of Comrector Rusko within the school, as we all are. So Sean Ed, it's in Barod. You know what so we encourage all pupils to hold this So if they've been from a well stream primary school, we would encourage them to continue their education through the medium of Welsh in secondary school. So under Cymnod Uchrad Hefyd, this will ensure that their child will continue to thrive to be fully bilingual. Um, we have put together a short video. So the video So if you go to the page that you've used to access tonight's live events, the portal page, and um, if you select videos and um, you'll get access to um, all the videos there including further information about lang Welsh language development, a charter iaith, the Welsh language charter um, and also within these videos and um, there will be videos about different areas of learning so mesi dysgu a phrofiad o fewn yr ysgol hefyd um, we will post a link to our portal in the question tab um, but also there is additional information na fwy o wybodaeth ar y wefan powys um, um, that's a taith that's the iaith, so called destination bilingual. There's lots of information about there with the way forward. Um, on dos os gennych chi unrhyw gwestiynau ychwanegol am yr ysgol, mae croeso chi gysylltu. So if you've got any additional or specific questions you'd like to ask, you're welcome to contact me at the school directly. Diolch. Diolch, Sean, thank you very much for that, that answer there. It, it is a big question that your child has been through the Welsh stream, through Governor Cymraeg, um, through Gadal I Amser and, and Oscar Gunnar. So they've been in the, in that Welsh stream all the way through their primary phase. And lots of people think, well, at 11, we'll do, do I want them carrying on in the Welsh? Do, how am I going to support them? And it was a particular question around COVID and people feeling um, maybe that they're a bit insecure in supporting their children. All I can say is it's a, it, it can be a huge advantage and it is a huge advantage um, for your child to be bilingual and truly bilingual and we would encourage people to continue through the the Welsh uh, stream of our school. Um, Sean had mentioned the the website the portal uh, you can see that on the screen there for you and I know that uh, Sean had went through some different aspects of that with you. We've got the home page which you, you've used to click on uh, to, to join the live event tonight. The videos section is well worth a look. OK, there's some really nice videos in there from all of our, our different areas of learning. I would encourage you to have a look through that and see what's there. <coughs> the promotional video that 
that you've just seen uh, is there for you to watch again. Um, and we also have, if I scroll down slightly, you can see that we've got our different areas of learning and experience there, the communications, we've got Kavathrebi, Expressive Arts, we've got Dinyethai, Gwydoniaeth, Thersa Yechid, and we have also got Mathematica Revai a Technolog. Uh, and at the bottom there is our, our video that Sean was just referring to regarding the Shout to the Eye. Please feel free to go back over these videos. Use this website as many times as you like. Um, if you're watching this tomorrow night on Friday night, there's obviously nothing left on Netflix for you to watch. You can go to our, our website, have a good look and see what you think. We also have an interactive map um, where if um, <clears throat> you can see the little logos there. If you click on a logo, let's see if it works. There you go. You can see different parts of the school. So that's our lovely new reception area. Uh, let's try another one. There we go. That's over in Dinyethai. Um, and you can see on that, um, on, on the wall there, you've got the traditional whiteboard on the left. On the right hand side, we've invested a huge amount of money in interactive screens uh, and 90% of our classrooms now have these interactive screens in them. Uh, if we click on another one, there you go. That's over in uh, in, in Seasnake in English. Uh, let's try another room where we can see. There you go. And you can see another classroom there. We want all of those screens to be in the rooms. They're, they're fantastic. So please feel free to use the map. Have a look around. There's our wonderful mural in the in the main entrance there that we did uh, over the summer, which leads through into the primary phase. So if, if can I can see if I can click into there we go then i come not come out so that's a key stage uh two room where else have we got there we go that's our lovely art and design area we had a a, a local local builder come in and do that work for us actually mr rogers old office uh so uh, that's been converted nicely and let's have a look at foundation phase oh no there's there's our resource center so a little library there mrs vaughan's office is just to the left and if we went through that door there we would go into foundation phase and it's gorgeous. So those of you who are a bit older who came to sixth form here, perhaps um, if we click into the next door room as well, which is got there we go. That used to be the sixth form common room. OK, and it's been converted. It's beautiful. Brand new furniture and outside is the lovely playground as well. So please use the interactive map. Have a good look through. If I can click on to the sixth form, you will see there those uh, there's our, our fantastic so they will give you a fantastic introduction to themselves. They are excellent. Then we have an introduction to our senior team. Um, they uh, they talk to you about what they do around the school. A little bit further down the page, you can see Taitham Gilcha Kanova Chweche tour around the sixth form centre. And again, for those of you who are a little bit older, uh, that was this time last year the primary school. It is now our Kanova Chweche, and. It's fantastic. It's it's wonderful. I love going down there. I've been down there today for a cup of coffee and the chat with the pupils in Cafe Kine. Uh, so please have a look at the videos in there. And finally, if you want to contact us again, you can do that on the on the sheet there. You can fill in any and any questions that you might have. We will get back to you straight away uh, and uh, and have a chat with you. And we we can offer limited tours around the building if you if you want to come and have a look at the building please contact us we will organize that in a socially distanced and safe way for you we all know that covid is on the rise we're very very safe in the school at the moment in terms of face coverings um, all of our pupils wear the face coverings and we have sanit hand sanitizer everywhere staggered break times and lunch times at the moment to keep everybody safe and actually touch wood our covid infection rate over the past few weeks has been low we are, we are classed as low risk at the moment everybody's very very careful let me have a look if there are any more questions. So there's a question there about the start time and end time of the school day. Well, start time is 8.50. People start to arrive on the buses. Um, myself and the rest of the senior team come out and we meet everybody into the school. Um, so the, the the gates are opened at, uh, at uh, quarter two. Buses start to arrive at that point. The pupils arrive into the primary phase as well to come to Conrad. Uh, so it's an 8.50 start and then the Kavanagh Conrad finish at 10 past three and the Kavanagh Ukhra, the secondary phase finish at 3.25 and they all get onto the buses and off they go. We've got a huge number of children who travel by bus um, and we see them off at the end of the day as well and make sure they're safely on to the buses. I can't see any more questions popping up. Hopefully 
we have answered some of your questions. Let me just, here we go. Let me just go down, down the screen a second. Here we go. So we've heard that there may be a new school build for us Scotland Vatlin. Will my child benefit from this? Yes, they will. We are pushing very hard at the moment to have a new community campus built um, on the school site. And your child, if they join in year seven, will benefit from that. OK, they will benefit from that because we are hoping, fingers crossed, that that will be happening in the next five years. OK, um, and we are wanting to work with leisure, so with Freedom Leisure, with the library service, with health and with social services to create a real community campus within Llanvathlin. Uh, those of you who know the site know it's huge. It's a massive school site, plenty of room for a new school build. We are part of the Paris Transforming Schools programme and we have had that promise from the local education authority that we will get that new school site. So hopefully that answers that question. So next question, my child is dyslexic and has ADHD and is very nervous about starting and also about being able to understand the Welsh. Uh, when they struggle with both English and Welsh, what can we help to do with the transition? OK, so what I'd like you to do is if you could contact school um, and what we will do, do is organise for you to come in, meet with myself, meet with Mr Rudge, meet with Mrs Rihanna Molyneux, who's our additional learning needs coordinator, and we will talk you through the process personally, OK, and walk you through um, walk you through everything that we need to do so that you've got a good 12 months run up um, to to help with that transition and to get your child used to the school and get to know all of the characters there. And if, if you could fill the format and, and contact us directly, that would be really, really good. My daughter also has ADHD. Uh, took a long time for her to get a diagnosis. She was a bit older before we had that. So I've got a, a good personal understanding around around ADHD and the effect that that can have, particularly on, on, on girls in school, because girls hide it very, very, very well. OK, so hopefully that that answers your question on that one. We scroll down again. So will there be any disruption to the existing school with the new school being built? Um, for Paris are very good now and, and the planners are very good at planning how new schools are built. If you know the site, you know it's it's huge. There are plenty of green spaces and plenty of spaces where a new build could be could be put whilst the current school exists. So I would hope that any disruption is kept to an absolute minimum. OK. Next question. I might hand over to somebody else to answer this question. I might go to Mr. Thea Thomas, if that's all right, Mr. Thea Thomas, because he is in charge of timetable and he's in charge of classes. So the question uh, theory is on average, how many pupils per teacher in a uh, in a class within year seven? So Mr. Thea Thomas, are you ready to answer that question? Yeah, Mr. Owen, thank you for handing over. I'm getting a number of questions flying in here, so I'm going to be doing two jobs at once here. Yeah, Mr. Owen. Um, how many that the question was about pupils numbers in class? So in year seven, it can vary from between um, 25 to 30 on most of the subjects. But then if you've got a subject like PE, what we try to do is combine groups together um, to make the groups larger. So we can have, um, for instance, a 15 aside in rugby or a 22 aside in football. So as much as possible, we try to accommodate the um, the subject that is being taught in DT, for instance, when they're working in um, uh, in, in the tech room, we will need to reduce the numbers down because of all the equipment that they're going to be using. But on average, OK, so we're talking um, Gwersi Cymraeg, Gwydoniaeth, um, Mathematics, Sysneg. It'll be, it'll range between about 25 to 30. Diolch. Diolch, Mr Thomas. Thank you for answering that question. Um, and some of the, the schools I've worked in um, have had larger class sizes than that. And you're talking maybe 30, 31, 32. We do endeavour to keep our class sizes down. And um, a, 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 another way of looking at it is how many adults we may have in the classroom with, with children because we have our team of learning support assistants as well. Sometimes there can be up to three adults in a classroom depending on the needs of the children within, within the class. I hope that answers you, your question. Uh, Matt, thank you for publishing your name. Uh, homework, always a contentious issue. So how much homework will my child receive? Well, we do have a homework timetable uh, which pupils follow. Um, just look and see if anybody else from the panel would like to take up on that question. I can see Mr. Rob Rudge is is nodding at you. Would you like to jump in on the on the homework question for year seven, Mr. Rudge? 
Yeah, Doc Strowan. So yeah, homework is set, um, on, as Mr. Owen said, as a timetable. So you uh, core subjects, which is Welsh, English, maths and science, that you get one piece of homework uh, a week and that lasts between 20 minutes and 30 minutes in length. And then um, for the non-core subjects such as history, geography um, and other subjects such as that, you get uh, one piece of homework every two weeks. Mr. Rudd, thank you very so much for answering that question. Next question is around exams. How many exams will my, will, will my child sit? Um, obviously, we've had a lot of disruptions of exams over the past two years, and last year, no, no child sat a formal external exam in the school. We sat assessments, we did set to determine grades. In an ordinary year, um, in year 11 and year 10, and also in 12 and 13, it will depend on the options that they've taken. Uh, typically, every child will sit English, Maths, Science, RE or Ethics. Their core subjects will be examined and then their optional subjects will also be examined. There will also be non-examined assessments, so coursework, speaking and listening exams, in, for example, in English. There will also be things like in music, you have performance exams and also coursework, which go along with, with that. So again, we talked about PE there. There'll be coursework and performance exams which would go along with that. So in terms of how many exams your child will sit, it, it would, there will be core subjects in year 10 and 11 that they will sit, plus their optional subjects which they choose in year 9. We do try in year 7, 8 and 9 to sit exam style assessments once a year to get pupils ready for the time when they will have to sit in the hall in a formal exam situation. Um, and it does get them used to sitting in that that uh, that controlled environment where they have to get used to writing for a set amount of time and get used to exam technique. I have to say that after the pandemic, I would imagine there's going to be quite a big review in terms of how exams are sat and how people are awarded grades. And you know, look at the way we're doing the open evening now. I mean, everything is becoming very much IT based and it may be that we have some more online exams and more, um, we already do national tests online. Um, but I, ho I hope that answers your questions around exams. If it hasn't, pop something else in the chat and I'll have a look in a second. OK, and don't hesitate to contact us if uh, if we haven't answered your questions completely. On to the next question. So my child has gone through school in Welsh. He's now worried that his friends that he's grown up with on the Welsh is thinking about going on to the English. He's worried about going to the Welsh side in the high school without his friends. OK, can I ask Mrs Vaughan to take that question? Because I know that Mrs Vaughan will talk about the benefits of going through the Welsh stream within the school. We would encourage people to continue if they've been through the Welsh stream in, in primary to, to continue. Um, but I know Mrs Vaughan will talk about the benefits of, of, the, of the Welsh stream. And if he's if he or you are at all worried about things, please contact us and we, we, we can talk through things. But Mrs Vaughan, do you want to do you want to take up that uh, that question? Yeah, no problem, dear Mr Owen. Um, as I previously mentioned, as we saw blind, we would encourage all pupils to continue from the Welsh stream in the primary school to the Welsh stream at the secondary phase. That's I would say that's highly important to ensure that they continue to be fully bilingual. Um, I think possibly um, if your child's got concerns, like I said, with bilingualism, we're thinking about the child's future and by being fully bilingual, it will open a lot more doors for them um, when they're trying for jobs within the future, which is very important. However, friendships and happiness is equally as important as well. I think there's a duty of us possibly to go out to primary schools and have those discussions with these pupils and tell them the benefits of going to the Welsh stream and continuing their education through the Welsh medium as they go on to the high school. Because um, our vision and our hope is that every child would continue on to the Welsh stream. And I saw some children do decide to go to the English stream at high school because they're thinking there's more homework available. Um, but homework is usually an extension of classwork, so it shouldn't include anything unfamiliar for your child. Even if you don't speak Welsh, you could ask them to explain the work and discuss it with you, even in your home language. Um, so the process of transferring information from one language to the other can actually help the children learn and understand their work even more. Um, 
but I think it would be beneficial for us to visit um, children within the primary schools um, later in the year to discuss the benefits so they understand and hopefully they will continue their education um, through Welsh. And it is a it's a big worry when um, you know it's a big worry to parents when when their children come to to the high school uh, and friendship groups is a huge one um, and I would say just contact us early let's talk it through come and have a look at the uh, at the site and um, there are many many benefits for continuing within within the Welsh medium and um, and I'm sure his friends uh, would would be interested in, in talking to us as well about that okay on to the next question the next question is are you typically oversubscribed and what is the process to selecting um, we are not oversubscribed um, and we are we are a non-selective um, state school so there, there is no selection of, of, of pupils here um, we have set amounts that we can take each year within to in within year groups but we we, we we we're not near that limit so uh, i wouldn't worry about the oversubscription there um, and there is no selection process we are very very open and welcome welcoming school with Taylor at its heart which i said earlier on and uh, so we we uh, we welcome people with open arms uh, i'm just going to have a look down here to see if there's any any other questions so one one last question i believe i don't think there's any others after this one so how many classes will my child have in a day so a typical day starts with form time at 8.50 and then there are two 50 minute lessons, then break time. So mid morning break, which is very, very popular um, and the food is very popular from Brenda's Canteen. Then two more lessons, then uh, lunchtime where the food again is very, very popular at Brenda's, Brenda's Canteen. And then two more lessons, then the end of the day. So there are six lessons within the day. Uh, Mr. Thomas writes a very, very good timetable. So it's very varied very varied throughout the day um, and we try and keep to single lessons. We sometimes have double lessons in practical subjects and PE etc. So six lessons a day and a form time and then a very popular break and a very popular lunch time in the canteen. Okay, if I can just remind you because I can't see any more questions coming through, remind you of the uh, of the website that you clicked on to. I'd encourage you to to spend time now as you normally would looking at those videos, having a look at what's on there, um, maybe re-watching the promotional video if you want to, but have a look at the other videos which have been, been left up there, uh, look at the six form videos, uh, and then you can fill out a form to um, to contact us and ask any other questions which you might you might have. It's uh, uh, that there is a wealth of information on there um, and you can see the home, home screen there has appeared on your screens. The different sections are at the top right hand side there, so you've got the videos, you've got um, all of the ones in there that we've had tonight. Also, the video from tonight, uh, you can re-watch the whole live event or you can tell your friends about it um, and they can re-watch. So if there's anybody in your schools who hasn't seen it, go back into the link and the whole live event will be able to be watched again, including the question section. Um, you've also got the map again, which we, we had a click through earlier on, um, which you can have a good virtual look around the school and then sixth form information um, because we like to think of, of you staying on with us into your sixth form years and you have your own special designated sixth form centre there. Okay. So Diolch and Vauriaun and Brando, thank you ever so much for listening so closely to us tonight and spending um, precious time with us. Um, if you have any questions, please contact us. Um, it's been a pleasure presenting to you and I'd like to thank other members of the panel for presenting to you this evening. Uh, please enjoy the rest of your evening and uh, contact us at the school if there are any other questions. So that is now the end of the live event. You now have time if you wish to view the website and have a look at the other videos. Thank you.